Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share with you my top five must-have on-the-go filming products from Amazon. So let's jump in. I'm one of those people I don't like to be confined to just my office. I love being outside when the opportunity presents. And so that's why I love finding different little spots throughout my town or in my area to where I can just do a quick film. So the first item that I want to share with you is my Joby Gorilla Pod. And it's this little guy right here. And this pretty much well mounts to just about anything. So this Gorilla Joby Pod makes it super easy and simple to film out in the field very quickly and easily and you can pretty much well like I said mount it to anything and that's the really cool portion about it. They are some cheaper options for uh, stands that you can use that do similar to this but the problem is um, that I have found is basically you um, they're not made as well and so they tear up and then you keep having to reinvest in those cheaper ones and so I ended up and just invested in the, the Gorilla Joby Pod and it has not disappointed and it has been through a lot. So basically the way it works is you just put it, you know, like spread your legs out on it and then you wrap it around whatever it is that you're wanting it to kind of um, stick to just like this. So, and then now you could easily, you know, start filming. And so your cell phone goes right here and you can actually make sure that it is level by this little uh, bubble that you see here. It's got a little basically measuring option here to where you can see the bubbles floating and that is level that's in the center. And I bought this attachment here just so that I would be able to have it on the go. You can basically film vertically or you can film horizontally with your cell phone and it'll hold it and it stretches as you see right here. And so I got this to connect this to um, the gorilla pod, but not only my gorilla pod, but also my tripod that I use that helps me when I'm doing a standing shot very similar to this. So the cool thing about this one is it's got this little round button on the back and then once you turn it, it locks and this will hold your cell phone securely. And like I said, it pulls and stretches so that you can fit your cell phone in here. And it actually holds a, an iPhone 13 Pro Max, um, which is what phone I currently have. And so like I said, it stretches really good and it's very secure and then you just turn this little dial on the back to turn this up so I'll bring that a little closer just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about but just know um, this will be something an extra attachment I think this is like eight bucks to put on here if you don't already have something like this from other items that you've purchased um, anytime you start buying electronics and stuff like that for filming you end up with a few of these types of things even if it's just this little portion here instead of this little neck that came with it as well and so this right here is the little uh adapter that i have that holds my cell phone like i was saying you can kind of pull it and it will adjust to your cell phone size and it securely holds it on the back this is where that little dial turns and so righty tighty it's going to basically tighten it and lefty loosey will loosen it and then you just kind of loosen it and then there you go and it falls okay so that's the really cool thing about that i will also link this in the description below just in case you do need to grab one but if you have something like i said similar to just this portion here that's what you need because you need to be able to have this little spot that screws into this little portion here on the bottom of here that will screw into the top of the Gor Gorilla Joby Pod. And then that way you'll be able to have something to kind of, you know, hold your cell phone with, as well as having a stand that's gonna be very versatile um, and allow you to basically film from basically anywhere that you can kind of attach this little guy to. And so the Gorilla Joby Pod really is amazing and it's super durable and it just really makes it easy for filming on the go. So this is definitely a must have and my number one item that I always have to have when I am filming on the go. Okay. So for number two, this is a 360 degree facial tracking device. And the really cool thing that this allows you to do is to be able to film by yourself. So a lot of times we don't have a cameraman that we can totally have with us at all times, especially if we're solo entrepreneur. And so you need a way to film yourself or take your own pictures. And this right here will totally allow you to do it. And it's about 40 bucks on Amazon. And I will be sure to link that below in the description. The really cool thing about it is it doesn't require batteries or anything like that. All you have to do is use, I think the US USB cord or micro USB. It's one of those, this, this right here um, on the back, you can kind of see where you plug it in. Um, you plug it in and charge it. I generally plug it in at night and charge it and it's ready to go the next day. I haven't really had to charge it that much and I've had it for a good three to four months now. So I do absolutely love it. It also comes with this little uh, detachable stand. So you could actually set this on top of whatever surface you wanted to, put your cell phone right here 
either vertically which it turns like this and locks into place or it goes back to horizontal and locks into place so if you'll look back here this is like the little turning mechanism that i was turning and the other really cool thing is it does stretch to fit your cell phone so it will keep it in there very securely which is really nice and the other really cool thing about this is if you wanted to you could basically take this off and then just apply this to a regular tripod stand and then that way you can be walking and moving and it's going to track you and so the way that you turn this on to track you is you press this little button up front you just press until that blue light you should start to see like a blue light there turning on or blinking maybe hard okay and it is on like I can you can start to feel it move and that's when I know okay it's on and so that little blue light up front will be lit up to let you know you're all good and it's tracking your movement okay so now what I'm going to do is actually put my cell phone onto this device so that that way you can see how it works as it's tracking me as I'm walking okay okay so now what I want to do is just kind of walk from left to right so that that way you can totally see that it still keeps tracking me no matter what and actually let me just go all the way around so you can actually see that as I'm talking as I'm walking it is still keeping up with me which is absolutely amazing and it makes filming on the go so super easy and you know like not that big of a deal and so this is one of those products that I'm like man this is a really big must-have when you're filming all by yourself on the go so the next product up is our 7 tech wireless microphone I want to share with you about the Sabintech wireless Bluetooth microphone. I am so excited to be sharing on this one because I've used several different types of microphones and whenever you're out filming in the field, it's a lot easier to film with something that isn't got a lot of wires running. And so you really don't have to think about how close you are to the camera or if you're getting too far away, that sort of thing. And so one of the th reasons I invested in this is because I do love to be outside and I love to be able to take advantage of filming outside in nature um, just to be on the go and that's the really cool thing about the Sabin Tech microphone is it allows you to be on the go and still get a professional sound quality with your mic and so this right here is the Sabine Tech Plus microphone and so the really cool thing is it comes with this little professional looking uh, wind muff that is really super puffy and that's going to really uh, bring down the noise distractions that you're going to get a lot of times when filming outside so like wind noise uh, car noises uh, you know animals and that sort of things in nature and so that's the really cool thing is it does come with this one and it also comes with this little guy here that um, you can put right over the top of the microphone it's just another option for a wind muff this one is going to be a little bit more protected just because it's got a little bit more insulation to it and so that's the really cool thing so you've got a few different options and then of course it comes with the little little playback uh, speaker to where you can put this in your ear and so say like if you were writing a song or producing a song you would be able to listen and uh, to the playback of it while you were recording so that's a really cool little aspect and then of course it comes with a USB charger to charge the device itself and so that's really neat and so I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck with this uh, microphone and definitely no wires is nice and the other really cool thing about this is that it has a smart mic plus app that you can use that also has a teleprompter on it so you could be filming yourself and reading the words um, and you know what you need to put in your videos as you're going through uh, filming which is really cool and you also have like a processor that you can really adjust the levels of things so if the mic is a little too hot or you need it to be a little bit more hot you can change that and so you just have a lot more flexibility with the mic so what I'm going to do is show you the distance how far you can get uh, being away from the actual camera where you're filming and like it says you can go up to 50 feet away from the device you're filming on and still you know get decent audio and so I'm gonna put that to the test by using intervals of 10 feet and uh, see if we can get all the way up to 50 feet and how far exactly we can get without the sound in, until the sound actually falls out and crackles on us in this portion of the video I want to show you how far this wireless mic can go um, and I really am impressed 
impressed with it. It's actually quoted to go up to 50 feet um, at the farthest length, but however, I have gotten it up to 100 feet, so I'm actually going to push it to 120 feet. The one thing I did learn about this mic is, though, if you turn away, so like if I turn my body this way, it kind of breaks the connection with your device. So, however, I would just highly say if you're going to be really far away, definitely keep that in mind and just, you know, kind of back yourself out. Um, I know it's a little bright out here. The sun is kind of getting ready to set. However, this is the more pretty view of, um, <laughs> of this shoot location. And the reason why I wanted to shoot on this location is because it actually, you can see how long it is to get up to the church. So we're about 120 feet out from the, uh, you know, front of the church there. And so what I'm going to do is actually just back out 10 feet increments and let you know where I'm at and um, just see how it does. I'm going to back out to our 10 foot line and my 10 foot line is right about here. Okay. And so now let's go ahead and back up to 20 feet. So this right here is my 20 foot line and you can still hear me really clearly um, as long as you don't turn your back away from your you know device that you're filming with you can still hear really good so now let's back up to the 30 foot mark and so right here i'm at 30 feet away from the device that i'm actually filming on and you generally would never be 30 feet away also keep in mind i do have traffic running up and down the road behind me there um, and so it is supposed to cancel out some of the noise, but with this much heavy of road traffic, that'd be hard for any mic to do, I feel like. So just kind of be mindful of that whenever you are filming. And so let's go ahead and back up to the 40 foot mark. And so right here, I'm at the 40 foot mark and it still should be clear as a bell because like I said, it's quoted to go up to 50 feet. And so let's go back right here. This right here is our 50 foot mark, okay? So let's keep trying to make our way back to the front of the church. And so now we are getting up here to the 60 foot mark. So right here, we are at 60 feet away from the device, the cell phone that I'm filming on. So let's back up to 70 feet. And this right here, <laughs> sorry my hair is going a little crazy but this right here we are filming at 70 feet away there's generally never a time that you would be filming at 70 feet away I don't know maybe if you were doing an undercover type situation you might be but for the most part we're never filming at you know 70 feet away from the device that we are filming on however just for fun purposes let's go ahead and back it up and right here we are at the 80 feet mark and so as long as i'm not turning around it should still be pretty clear um for the most part now let's go ahead and go up to the 90 mark and so this right here is our 90 foot uh, mark where I'm filming from now. Um, you should still hear me. You probably do hear a little bit of road noise still. Like I said, that's not gonna mute out all the way. Now I am at 100 feet exactly. So I'm almost up to the uh, front of the church. I mean, there's still gonna be another probably 10 feet before I hit like the front step, the first step of the church. Okay, so now let's go ahead. And this right here is the 110 foot mark. We may be starting to get a little bit of a, you know, uh, lag in signal or breaking up possibly a little bit. So just keep that in mind. And right here, and so right now we're at the 120 foot mark. And what I'm gonna do is go possibly 130 feet. That's about how far I am away from my camera at this point, which is the 130 foot mark. Let's just see if it'll actually allow me to get up to the actual first step. So here is me on the first step and what it sounds like. That's probably a good 150 you know, steps away from the device that I'm filming on. And so, like I said, you would never be filming on a device 150 feet away. The only reason you would possibly do that is because you were doing some kind of undercover type situation or you know, something like that. But for the most part, you're never gonna be more than 50 feet away from wherever and whatever you're filming from. So that is just one of many reasons why I love using the wireless Sabintech uh, Bluetooth microphone is because you really don't have to worry about wires and it really does keep a really good solid connection with it and you're able to kind of move around and not worry about oh shoot did it just drop my signal and all of that so that's the really cool thing and definitely wanted to be sure to kind of just show you in a visual representation of the different increments of feet 
away from the camera. I'm going to share with you how I create my own profile pictures whenever I don't have a cameraman and I kind of need to get the job done. So the first thing I do is I start out by setting up my tripod stand exactly in the location I want to film in. The next thing you will see me doing is clicking with my left hand down beside my leg and that is allowing me to click the pictures that you're seeing click right now on the actual cell phone. To be sure that you've got everything center, you just want to be uh, taking a few different shots and then take a look at your work and see what you got. And I have a clicker that communicates to my cell phone via Bluetooth, so it allows me to start and stop videos, take pictures, and all of the different things that you need to be able to do by yourself. So that's part of the magic on how I create my own professional looking headshots or videos. This right here is my tripod that I use. It goes up to 70 inches. As you can see, it's super basic. And this is just one of the main ones that you can get from Amazon. And um, it came actually with one of my lights, I believe, but you can actually just order this um, just by itself. And there's actually four sections to where you can tighten. So this right here is the legs. So if I untighten this, it would actually allow the legs to spread out even farther wider apart so it allows you to get a little bit lower um, if you wanted to and at the tallest height you could go up to 70 inches which is where I've got it stretched out to right now um, each one of these that has this little turn dial right here on the side will go down at least a good 12 inches there so about a foot each time you drop these so like if I were to drop this one you can see that the pole just slid down and now it's a little bit shorter. So it's about 12 inches shorter than it was. And so you can continue to do that right along here. I mean, by just easily, you know, unturning that. And then once you, you know, you can tighten it again. And so then it's dropped another 12 inches, okay. And then we can do this last one up top here and it'll drop all the way to the bottom. Now it also has like a little thread up top. You would put basically um, a little cell phone holder thing here and I will put that in the description box below. But as you see, it can go pretty low as you need it and as high as you need it. And so that's the really cool thing. And whenever you have the cell phone holder that you can actually screw onto this top part right here, and I'll pop that up on the screen so that that way you know exactly what I'm talking about. But once you put that on there, you'll probably get another, you know, three or four inches just with the height of it. So you could ultimately go up to about 74 inches tall with an added cell phone holder bracket um, on top of here. So anyways, that's what I use um, when I'm out in the field filming and I need something to kind of be uh, stationary and filming me as I'm walking and talking back and forth. And so this is a definite must have whenever you're shooting out um, in the field. So I hope that you found this video super helpful. And if so, be sure to watch the video that is on your screen now. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.